Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. HTM here with another Elder Scrolls Online PTS update. In this video, I want to talk about a brand new feature coming out in the Flames of Ambition DLC that I didn't have a chance to touch on last week. This is the advanced stats feature of the character sheet. And I think this new update is going to be a real game changer, especially if you are playing ESO on consoles right now. Now, this is going to work for both PC and console, but I think console players especially are going to really like this. So advanced stats, let's talk about it. What is it? A couple of different changes actually going on. So I'm on PC right now, obviously on the PTS server. And as far as the base game goes, you can see a couple additional stats here on the character sheet those being spell penetration and physical penetration. Now you could get these previously on PC with add-ons and things like that, but never as part of the base game character sheet. So those are now there for you. Very, very nice. Just in terms of seeing what your build is capable of, because again, spell penetration and physical penetration were never there visibly unless you had an add-on. Now, this is just the basic character sheet. Watch what happens when I click on the new advanced stats tab on my character sheet. I get a whole new section of stats that I can check out for my character. This is going to cover essentially everything your character does in the game, whether that's your core abilities, resistances, damage bonuses, and healing bonuses. There's just so much here uh, to keep track of to better build your character with, I think, ultimately. So let's go over some of these under core abilities. These are going to be things like your block cost, break free cost, Roll dodge cost, sneak, and sprint. And of course, that's both cost reduction and speed. So you can see there at the bottom, my sprint speed, my sneak speed, even my speed while blocking. There's literally every type of stat that you could want in this new advanced stats character sheet. Uh, moving down a little bit, we have all of our resistances. And these are broken up into the elemental types. So you have fire resistance, shock resistance, frost resistance, magic resistance, and then the physical ones, which would be disease, poison, and bleed resistance. Now, it is going to keep track as well of all of our damage bonuses. Uh, I'm on the template character here, no champion points, so I don't have any bonuses, obviously. But you can see the types of things that you would start to keep track of, whether it's critical damage, bleed damage, disease, fire, frost, magic, oblivion damage poison damage and shock damage. Now I do like too that everything here does have a tooltip to give you more information. So you can see what poison damage is about and you can see also that there's two types of modifiers here, that being flat damage and then percent based modifiers. So that is really cool. And then like I mentioned, our healing bonuses. So we have a healing done stat. This is the amount of additional healing your heals do. Then, of course, you have critical healing, so the amount of additional healing your critical heals do, and it even gives you the base information there. Critical heals do 50% increased healing. That's your default critical heal, and those can be made more powerful with these additional bonuses, so it's going to help you track flat healing bonuses and percent-based healing bonuses. Then you've got your healing taken. That's the amount of additional healing you receive. So again, a lot of these stats you could get with things like add-ons on PC, uh, those were available, but now with the new advanced stats feature, uh, you can get all of this stuff just from the base game. You don't have to install any add-ons to make this work. Um, and of course, it's going to work now on console. So let me switch over to my uh, console interface just to show you how it will work. All right, so gamepad mode is on. Let's jump into our console style characters sheet. Um, you can see spell penetration, physical penetration is there, uh, again, with the update 29. And then we're going to have a new button here for advanced stats. I'm going to click X for this. And then layout is different, obviously, because it is console. Uh, the gamepad UI is, is quite a bit different um, on consoles, but I do like it. And then here you see everything still. And you can sort of highlight it if you need to know more about what it is. Um, but you can see everything there is basically the same. You have all your core ability costs and cost reductions. You have all of your resistances still here. You have all your damage types and modifiers, both flat and percentage increases. And then all of your healing stats as well. So same exact stats will be available for consoles starting 
with the next update. That's update 29. That's going live in March, the beginning of March, I believe. So about five or so, five to six weeks from now, uh, consoles will be receiving this update as well, which should be really nice for keeping track of your characters. Of course, there's just tons of changes coming in update 29 as well. If you didn't see some of my videos last week, make sure you check those out as well. I'll have links to all of those down in the description below. Obviously, there's lots of class updates, lots of weapon and armor skill updates, especially on the passive side of things. Lots of changes there, so make sure you're informed about those. There is a complete rework of the champion point system. CP 2.0 is coming out in update 29. Uh, it's pretty interesting. I would definitely recommend you check out that video, get informed about that change as well. And then of course we have this update coming with the advanced stats system. So that's all I've got for you guys today. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you found it helpful or informative, don't forget to crush that like button for me. Make sure you've subscribed right here for many more ESO builds and guides in the future with those notifications turned on so you don't miss anything. As always, thank you all so much for watching. I hope you're doing well. Stay safe out there and I will see you around in the next video.